Alrighty. So, today's video is going to be about my fan-made subclass idea called Strife. This is an idea that I've been working on for quite a while. Um, I've posted little updates about it here and there, but I finally sat down and made the full idea. What's funny is, I came up with the subclass name, and I posted it on Reddit, and then the next day, I saw a YouTube video of like a fake that had, you know, new subclass named Strife, so I seen some fucking asshole saw the name and just said, oh, let me try and make it a leak, but uh, this is my idea, so we have Strife. Strife is a subclass heavily tied to the Guardian's emotions. The Guardian uses these strong emotions to give themselves power in a fight, and each class specializes more into a certain emotion than others do. The subclass color is red, and like I said, each class a little bit more so. Hunters specialize more in the terror and fear aspect. Titans are more rage and hate focused and warlocks are sadness and regret. Now here are the buffs. We have enraged. Remaining in combat grants increased ability regeneration. The longer you remain, the more stacks you gain. This is basically the mirror to amplified. Amplified is, you know, you get ability final blows or any arc kills and your movement speed increases. So I figured the mirror to amplify would be instead of your movement speed increasing for fighting, your ability energy would increase. Now, you have times 1, 20%, and then it goes all the way up to 100 at times 5. The time in between these stacks generating would be around 7 seconds. So if you wanted to get to times 5, you have to be in combat for 35 seconds total. And then, similar to how Frenzy is, once you're not in combat for like 5 seconds, the stacks disappear entirely. It doesn't dwindle down, it doesn't go, you know, times 4, times 3, times 2, times 1. 5 seconds go by, if you're not in combat at all, every stack disappears. And then we have Soul. This is basically the mirror to an ionic trace. Defeating an enemy that has been affected by a repulse or fear. Uh, these are two debuff keywords. We go to those in a second. But defeating an enemy that has been affected by repulse or fear will create a soul. Picking up a soul will grant you health and mend you, but take away a stack of enraged. And then mend removes all negative status effects applied to you. So, the only reason that mend exists compared to like arc, arc doesn't have three buffs, but mend exists just because I figured it'd be nice to have this. This is an idea that me and my friends have wanted. We're like, why don't we have like a cleanse effect in the game? So this is where we decided, you know, it'd be nice to have a cleanse effect. So, souls are basically the ionic traces, and I was like, you know, ionic traces give you ability and energy. What if souls gave you health instead? As like a mirror to it. And the the whole idea of it taking away stacks of rage, like hence it like this kind of play style. Like, you know, do you want to keep having strong abilities, or do you want to heal? So it's like a, it's like a choose wisely kind of back and forth gay play loop. And then on to the debuffs, we have a repulse. Apply a damage over time effect to an enemy that causes them to take damage and cause explosions that knock nearby enemies away. 
this is the mirror to jolt and the knockback is quite severe but not like game breakingly severe uh, and then we have fear instill fear into your enemies and make them begin to hallucinate and see things that aren't there so yeah in pve it would just be kind of like a like a normal blinding effect you know you see the enemies they'd like put their head down and cover their eyes and shit nothing too crazy but in pvp if you get affected by fear you'll start seeing these weird red streaks covering your screen and it'll be like you know basically it's basically a blind but like there's something physically in front of you compared to like just like a white screen or something like normal blind is now here we are for the grenades a sound grenade this is kind of leaning into like the fear aspect you know making things that aren't actually there seem to be there so sound grenade a grenade that mimics sounds of guardians and pings radars when traveling it's a bouncing grenade kind of like you know a flashbang suppressor it's one of those so pve enemies are attracted to the sound and they'll target it like they'll go near it or try and find it for a brief duration basically a very effective you know say you're getting you know heavily like attacked and you need a break you can just throw this grenade out and they'll go look at it for a second while you can you know maybe heal up get a res just run away if you need to uh but pvp the sounds will consist of like a guardian either shooting a weapon or jumping landing reloading swapping weapons not all at the same time it'll be one or the other so but it could be any of those and then we have repulsor grenade throw a grenade down that releases explosions that cause severe knockback to enemies so this is basically the uh the uh pulse grenade but instead of just pulsing and you know dealing damage it also knocks enemies away from it uh also i like how i put enemy nearby enemies like i said i've been working on, on this for a while so i'm sure there's a few messed up words here <laughs> and then finally we have mending grenade a grenade that can be thrown at your feet or at allies this grenade removes any negative status effects that you have applied to you now what exactly can it you know or to any allies uh but what is going to please that so we have jolt scorch volatile weaken suppress blind slow unravel and sever as the examples here a few more could be you know if yeah i didn't put it here but if you're affected by fear or <laughs> repulse you could throw it and cleanse yourself i know suppressed you can't actually throw grenades right if you're suppressed but if your teammates suppressed then you can you know free them um all of the names for the classes are kind of like joke names for now uh just kind of placeholders um i also didn't come up with any super names or like the actual melee names but uh here we are with hunter <laughs> for right now he's called fear monger uh, become the nightmare and reap the souls of those who come across your path. So your melee, he had two charges. You slash forward with a hand sickle made of strife. Enemies hit by the sickle are repulsed. And then your super, combine your two strife sickles with pure strife energy in between. Then pull down a double-bladed scythe. As for your light attacks, there are attacks that occur in rapid succession. And your character will constantly spin so that each scythe hits at a constant like pace your combo attack similar to arc staff light light heavy perform two light attacks and then perform a flip with the scythe that causes both blades to hit in one attack 
and then your normal heavy, perform a quick spin and toss the scythe forwards. The scythe then travels out and will spin horizontally. After traveling for a short while, the scythe will return to you. Any enemies hit by the scythe that weren't defeated will then be pulled towards you as the scythe returns. And on to the aspects. Reaper's Blade. Your sickles now release a horizontal wave of energy that travels out and deals damage from a distance. All enemies defeated by the wave drop a soul. Night Terror. Activating your dodge causes you to disappear briefly into a strife mist and release a burst of strife energy that applies fear to all nearby enemies. Now, as for the strife mist, you basically become like Reaper from Overwatch for like half a second to like you are physically immune for that half a second, like nothing can hit you. But it's not like long, so basically you just dodge and then you're out of existence for like one or a half a second. And then Mina, you're on the other side now. And then for the Titans, we have Belligerent. Channel your anger and hatred onto your foes and make them beg for your mercy. Melee, you get one charge and it's a charged melee. Channel your rage into a physical copy of yourself made of strife that travels out and punches the enemies for you. The strife copy also applies fear to any enemy it hits. Your super, it is a one and done that like has to charge up. Similar, this is similar to Thunder Crash. It'll automatically do the final part, so you don't have to worry about like not performing it at the right time. But basically. Your emotions begin to overwhelm you and you fall to your knees and begin to drain the life energy out of nearby enemies to feed into these emotions that are overwhelming. And you don't, like, it isn't like it builds up power the more enemies it drains. The only reason to, like, drain enemies is because you're stationary. Uh, while draining enemies, it'll give you health. That way, it's not just, like, Oh, I'm stuck still. I'm a big, massive target. Kill me, All right? So, it'll build up power because you're already just, like, taking in emotions from all around in the world. And that's why it begins becoming overwhelming. But the draining enemies is just to help you not die while doing your super. And then, near the end of the super, you will release all these emotions out of you into the world and there'll be a, such a violent release that it causes a massive explosion and it does massive damage and it severely knocks enemies away and then you have your aspects battle rage being critically wounded grants you full stacks of enraged while enraged you also gain increased reload speed and handling for all weapons and then repulsive reinforcement. Placing your barricade releases a large burst of energy that repulses all nearby enemies. Warlocks. Dreamscaper. Manifest your own terrors and dreams into reality and give life to your emotions. You get two charges of your melee and you throw out physical fragments of your soul that are heavily embedded with fear when these melees hit an enemy, they have fear applied to them. And then your super creative massive ritual circle that repulses nearby enemies. Defeating enemies while standing inside of this circle will cause a mass collection of souls to spawn on top and seek nearby allies. These souls grant allies full health and they do not take away stacks of enraged. Um, anybody can get kills inside of the ritual and then the souls will seek allies so it doesn't even have to be the warlock who stands in the ritual to keep killing allies it could be anybody on the team and then the souls will seek allies um your aspects necromancers regret activating your class ability will release strife energy into all nearby souls these souls are then reanimated into strife minions that attack for you these would be similar to nightmares but, you know, we wield them now. 
soul repulsor. Souls that are created by you constantly emit a pulse that repulses and damages nearby enemies. This is basically ensuring that you know these enemies kind of stay away from the souls that you need to go get or turn into minions. And it's also dealing damage, so it could kill enemies, so then you can get even more souls. And then as for your fragments, um, the fragment names are Sense, because I figured, you know, it's like your emotions, it's like, oh, where's your sense of you know, joy, your sense of humor, you know, your sense of pride. <laughs> yeah, so I was like, you know what? I think it'll make sense to call the fragments sense. So we have sense of rage. Your enraged stacks build up faster. Sense of grief. Allies that are defeated now also drop souls. Yes, this would work with the warlock aspect, and you could create a strife guardian after they die. Sense of fear. Enemies standing near souls that you created have fear applied to them. Sense of disgust. Your repulsion effects deal more damage and cause significantly more knockback. Minus 10 resilience. Sense of relief. Souls you collect heal for a greater amount. Sense of pride. Your enraged stacks persist for a longer amount of time after exiting combat. This would make it to where they last for 7 seconds after you exit combat compared to 5 seconds. Sense of regret. Performing a finisher near a soul will cause the soul to form into a strife minion. That is right. Everybody can make a strife minion. Sense of despair. Being critically wounded takes away all enraged stacks, but heals you for each stack you have, minus 10 recovery. This would heal you for 20 health per stack, and you may be saying, well, why would you ever run this on a titan? Because then your aspect would be useless. It depends. It depends on how you want to play. The way this would work on a Titan is if you have Battle Rage, you be critically wounded, and you immediately get times 5. Then a second would go by, and then a sense of despair would kick in. So it would basically be like a lordly splendor effect, but just an instant burst of health as soon as you become critically wounded. So it's kind of like lordly splendor, but it doesn't take an exotic slot. So you can use any other exotic with it. Uh, sense of Greed. Defeating enemies affected by repulse or fear grants melee energy. Sense of Kindness. Hitting an enemy with your strife melee will release a burst of energy that mends nearby allies. Sense of Anguish. Your repulse and fear effects last for a longer duration. Minus 10. Discipline. Sense of Vengeance. Damaging any enemy that damaged you will apply fear to them. Minus 10. Mobility. Sense of Humanity. Strife Weapon Final Blows now create souls. And then, Sense of Doubt. Souls that you create now track to your location. So this is my idea for the next Darkness subclass, Strife. I figured, being we don't have it, it would be a mirror to arc. And I felt like I did a pretty decent job of kind of mirroring some of the arc abilities. And then, for the darkness we had, everything is, like, mental-related. Stasis is about, like, control over yourself. Strand is about, like, opening your mind to what's around you. And so I figured Strife would be about embracing your emotional side and using it to your own advantage. So yeah, this is my subclass idea. Um... If you like it, let me know. If you think that it could use some work, let me know. I would appreciate the feedback. This is something that I'm very kind of passionate about, because I've thought about it for a while. But, yeah, this is the subclass. That's all I gotta say.